Hey friends, today we're gonna to talk about the critical reasons why your chickens need calcium. We're also gonna talk about the methods to get it to them, and we're gonna talk about what happens when they don't get it. Let's go. And we're also gonna talk about a great product, a chicken snack that is really high in calcium. We're gonna talk about the company and the product a little bit later, but now let's get to those reasons your chickens need calcium. So calcium is an incredibly essential nutrient for your chickens for three different reasons. One is bone health, of course, bone density, bone health. Two is feather production. You know, when your chickens are molting, they take calcium to build their feathers and their egg production slows way down. And of course, the third one is the egg production itself. It takes a lot of calcium out of your chicken's system to produce those eggshells. If you didn't know it, chickens can develop a avian osteoporosis called MBD. And that's directly related to egg laying and how much calcium goes into producing those eggs. So keep the calcium up in their diets when they're egg laying age. So it's really important that your eggs have a hard shell and that is for the chicken's health and here's why. Chickens can become what's called egg bound and that's when an egg gets stuck in their oviduct. And if that isn't taken care of, an egg bound chicken can die in between 24 and 48 hours. That happens when the shell is too soft or too fragile for the egg to be pushed out by their muscles out of the, uh, the oviduct. And the muscles just can't push a soft egg out. So that egg gets stuck there and they've always got eggs coming out. So they get egg bound, too many eggs stack up and it will kill them. Soft shells and thin shells are really bad. So you need to get that calcium content up. Now you wanna constantly check your eggs for dark spots or thinning areas. And you could, you'll be able to see those thinning areas because they'll have little hairline cracks in them or those darker spots will be areas where the shell is thinner. You obviously, when you use them in your cooking, be able to tell where the shell is thinner. And if it's super thin all the way around, then you got an issue. So a great way to introduce calcium into your chicken's diet is through leafy greens. Of course, we've got some carrot tops, we've got kale, we've got Swiss chard, and we've got collard greens. All of these leafy greens are really high in calcium and should be given to your chickens on a regular basis. So our chickens don't free range. It's because we have just a ton of predators in this area, but that's another video. So we need to supplement our chickens diet and we do it by bringing all the scraps from the garden over to them. Here, girl. Here you go. They absolutely love those leafy greens and those will be gone in less than five minutes. They really eat them up quick. Now, in addition to natural vegetation, there are three other sources that are great ways to get calcium into your chicken's diet. And then one more that is a fantastic supplemental way to get calcium into their diet. Two other big sources of getting calcium into your chicken's diet are one, your layer feed. Layer feed is going to contain calcium. It's all formulated to have more calcium in it and you can get higher levels of calcium in certain feed that just says for big egg production layers um, and things like that. So your feed is going to be one of those good sources. If you need additional oyster shell, oyster shell is really great. It's used a lot and it is, I give this to our chickens. It's just crushed oyster shell and I believe this one has crushed coral in it as well. But let's talk about this. You don't want to mix this in with their other feed. You want to leave this out separately and do what's called a uh, free choice for them. They have a free choice to come and take some more calcium. Birds know when they need more calcium. They will go and they will take some of this and, and get it down inside of them if they need it. But don't mix it in with their food because you're actually going to end up wasting it. They will throw it out if it's mixed in with other stuff, they'll just toss it out to the side. So just have a little cup like this available for them off to the side and it'll be plenty for them. 
So I misspoke earlier. There are actually two more sources. One of those is actually a liquid additive that you put in the chicken's water. I don't like doing stuff like that. I like to do things more naturally. I don't really like giving them uh, this pre-made feed, but until we get a larger area for them to eat, a chicken tractor built where I can pull them around, and a larger garden where I can actually uh, give them more from the garden, this is what I have to do. But those liquid additives, I'm not really a big fan. Another source is chicken eggshells themselves. Now, a lot of people do that and they've been doing that for a long time. I don't like to do that. I talked about that in one of my previous videos about what to feed a chicken. You can go see that up here. But eggshells are a great source of calcium for them. Ch certain chickens have a tendency to eat eggs though and to peck eggs and to make a mess in the coop and and just eat their eggs. And I don't want to introduce anything into the chicken's diet that's going to give them a hint that they can act, do something like that. So I leave the eggshells out completely. I know a lot of people do it. I know it's been done for a long time. I know if you bake them in the oven for a short period of time and then crush them up really small, that doesn't really give them the sense, but I'm going to leave them out anyway. You can do it if you want. Now, if I didn't mention it before, I want to make sure that you understand not to give any of these sources of calcium to younger chickens, chickens that are not of egg laying age. It can really damage their kidneys. So wait until your chickens are laying eggs or a little bit after and you notice that they have a calcium deficiency. So I recently had a company send me a product and I've tried it out with my chickens. They absolutely love them. Let's talk about what that is. These are from a company called Grubterra. Grubterra raises black soldier fly larvae. And those soldier fly larvae have a huge amount of calcium in them compared to other chicken snacks. So I did a little bit of research. Most people feed mealworms to their chickens. Mealworms aren't really high in calcium at all. They have about 135 parts per million of calcium in each mealworm. Some people feed their chickens crickets, and crickets are pretty good. They've got about 345 parts per million of calcium in each cricket. Soldier fly larva has about 845 parts per million of calcium in each larva. That blows away any other natural chicken snack that is out there. These also have about twice as much fiber as the mealworms. They're a great source of protein, and they're also lower in fat. This company also has a great mission. They actually work at diverting food waste out of landfills by taking that food waste from grocery stores and from restaurants and I think farmers markets and they use it to raise their uh, fly larva on. So if you're into that kind of thing, it's a cool company. So we're partnering with Grubterra and if you use the link in the description below, you will get a discount off your order of the soldier fly larva. <laughs> They're gone in like less than 10 seconds. Just remember, 90% of your chicken's diet should be from regular sources of food for them. 10% of their diet can be from treats. Oh, look, you know what I got in my hand, don't you? <laughs> you two found them. Look at all those. Oh, you're having a great time, aren't you? You're having a great time. Here you go, girls. Don't forget to go below the video for that discount code and the link to Grubterra. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Now go check out this video right here, which tells you the three ways to tell when your chickens are ready to start laying eggs. Have a great day. Love you. See you on the next video. Bye.